In this lecture, we will plot two characteristics of n-channel depletion type MOSFET. We will plot two characteristics of n-channel depletion type MOSFET. The first one is the drain characteristics and the second one is the transfer characteristics. And to understand my explanation in this lecture, you must understand the working the working of n channel depletion type mosfet i explained the working of n channel depletion type mosfet in the last presentation so before watching this lecture i will suggest you to watch the previous lecture drain characteristics is the characteristics between the drain current id and the voltage vds for various for various voltage VGS and if you see ID VDS and VGS you will find ID is the output current VDS is the output voltage and VGS is the input voltage first we will obtain the drain characteristics and once we have the drain characteristics we will use it to obtain the transfer characteristics before that, let us talk about transfer characteristics. Transfer characteristics is the plot between the output current ID and the input voltage VGS for fixed VDS. So this is what we have to do in case of transfer characteristics. Now let's begin with the drain characteristics. I will quickly draw the y-axis and the x-axis the y-axis is for the drain current id in milliamp and the x-axis is for the voltage vds in volt this is the origin and if you remember the working of n channel depletion type mosfet then we started with VGS equal to 0 volt the channel is already there the N channel is already there in case of N channel depletion type MOSFET and like JFET we can start with VGS equal to 0 volt because VGS we used in case of enhancement type MOSFET to enhance the channel but there is no need to enhance the channel in case of depletion type MOSFET so first we will start with VGS equal to 0 volt so what will happen when VGS is equal to 0 volt if you increase VDS the drain to source voltage the current ID will increase the current ID will increase linearly like this initially when VDS is equal to 0 ID is also equal to 0 when VDS is equal to 0 volt ID is equal to 0 amp because when VDS is equal to 0 volt when VDS is equal to 0 volt this implies VD minus VS is equal to 0 volt or we can write VD is equal to VS so the potential at drain is same as potential at source there is no potential difference and as there is no potential difference current ID will not flow through the channel so it is equal to 0 amp and when you increase VDS the potential difference will increase and the drain current will also increase linearly but after some time the drain current the drain current becomes constant and the reason is pinch off we already know how pinch off occurs in case of depletion type MOSFET so this is how the curve will look when VGS is equal to 0 volt now in case of depletion type MOSFET we can either increase VGS or decrease VGS if we are on VGS equal to 0 volt this means we can make VGS we can make VGS positive we can make it plus 1 volt or we can make VGS negative we can make it minus 1 volt but in case of JFET we don't have this facility we cannot make VGS positive we can only make VGS negative so this is one plus point of depletion type MOSFET if we compare it with the junction field effect transistor so let's see the case when VGS is equal to plus 1 volt in case of VGS equal to plus 1 volt the gate terminal will become positive 
and as gate terminal becomes positive, the free charge carriers in the p-type substrate, which are electrons, will be attracted towards the gate and the channel will now have more electrons and as the number of electrons increases, definitely the current will also increase. So for same VDS, if this is some random VDS equal to VDD, so for same VDS, the drain current ID will be larger when VGS is positive. Let's say this is the drain current ID when VGS is equal to plus 1 volt and in this case also when VDS is equal to 0 volt drain current is equal to 0 amp and on increasing VDS the drain current increases linearly and after some time it will become constant due to pinch off and the final curve will look like this this is the final curve and you can see the gap between two curves and this gap is telling us that on increasing VGS making it more positive the drain current increases rapidly the drain current ID increases rapidly if you make VGS positive so this is one important point and this is happening because when VGS is positive the gate terminal is positive and electrons in the p-type substrate are attracted towards the gate and when these electrons the accelerating electrons move towards the gate they will free more carriers and due to this reason the drain current ID increases rapidly now what will happen if we make VGS negative if we make it minus 1 volt in this scenario we are making gate terminal negative and due to this reason the electrons in the N channel will be pushed down and the holes in the p-type substrate will be attracted towards the gate and due to this electrons will recombine with the holes and the number of free electrons for the conduction in N channel reduces and this will also reduce the drain current so for same VDS the drain current ID will reduce will reduce when we make VGS negative same thing will happen in the third case also the current will increase linearly and after this it will become constant due to pinch off and this will be the final curve now we can easily complete the characteristics for different values of VGS I will quickly complete it this is the complete characteristics this curve we have obtained for VGS equal to minus 2 volt this curve is for VGS equal to minus 3 volt this curve here is for VGS equal to minus 4 volt and this curve this curve is for VGS equal to minus 5 volt and the last curve I have not drawn because I want to show you how to draw it the last curve is for VGS VGS equal to the pinch of voltage VP and in this case it is equal to minus 6 volt so when VGS get to source voltage is equal to the pinch of voltage which is equal to minus 6 volt in this case the drain current is equal to 0 amp the drain current will remain equal to 0 amp even if you increase voltage VDS so this is how you have to plot the drain characteristics or the output characteristics of N channel depletion type MOSFET and if you remember the last lecture I told you when VGS is equal to 0 volt the saturated drain current which is the maximum drain current we call IDSS IDSS this is the maximum drain current when VGS is equal to 0 volt and in case of JFET, in case of junction field effect transistor, IDSS is the maximum JFET current. It is not only the maximum current when VGS is equal to 0 volt, but it is the maximum drain current for the device itself because we cannot make VGS positive in case of N channel JFET. 
But here in case of N channel depletion type MOSFET, we can make VGS positive and when we make VGS positive, the drain current increases. So IDSS is not the maximum drain current in case of N channel depletion type MOSFET. Now we will plot the transfer characteristics of N channel depletion type MOSFET and the first thing we have to do is to carefully draw the X axis. We must draw the X axis carefully because it must align properly with the X axis of drain characteristics. We are using the drain characteristics to obtain the transfer characteristics and because of this reason the X axis of transfer characteristics must align properly with the X axis of the drain characteristics. Now we will draw the Y axis. This is the Y axis. The Y axis is for the drain current ID in milliamp and the X axis is for voltage VGS in volt. In case of transfer characteristics, VDS must be fixed. We have to take fixed VDS and let's say VDS is equal to VDD. VDS drain to source voltage is equal to VDD and for this we have to obtain the transfer characteristics. We made the X axis properly aligned with this X axis because we can easily obtain the drain current from this curve. For example, when VGS is equal to plus 1 volt, this is the drain current for VDD and if I extend this line like this, I will have the value of drain current for this curve also. In the same way, I will extend all the lines and in this way, we will have all the drain currents for various levels of voltage VGS. The next thing is to mark different levels of voltage VGS on the X axis. This is 0 volt, this is 1 volt, this is minus 1 volt, this is minus 2 volt, minus 3 volt, minus 4 volt, minus 5 volt, minus 6 volt. Minus 6 volt is the pinch of voltage and when VGS is equal to pinch of voltage, ID is equal to 0 amp. So ID is equal to 0 amp when VGS is equal to minus 6 volt. So this is the point. When VGS is equal to minus 5 volt, this is the value of drain current. So we have this point here. And when VGS is equal to minus 4 volt, this is the value of drain current. So we have this point for minus 4 volt. This is the drain current. When VGS is equal to minus 3 volt, this is the drain current. So we have this point here. When VGS is equal to minus 2 volt, when VGS is equal to minus 2 volt, this is the drain current. So we have this point for minus 2, this is the drain current. When VGS is equal to minus 1 volt, we will have this point. When VGS is equal to 0 volt, we will have this point. And when VGS is equal to 1 volt, we will have this point. Now I will join all these points and this will give us our transfer characteristics for N channel depletion type MOSFET. This is the final curve. The curve must be smooth. In this curve there are two terms. The first one is the depletion mode, depletion mode and the second one is the enhancement mode enhancement mode let's try to understand the meaning of depletion mode and the enhancement mode when vgs is positive when vgs is positive this means this region we say mosfet is in enhancement mode and when vgs is negative this means this region we say mosfet is in depletion mode now i think instead of explaining why we are calling it enhancement mode and why we are calling it depletion mode 
I will give it as homework problem. This is the homework problem. You already know the working of MOSFET when VGS is positive, the working of MOSFET you know already and you can easily relate why we are calling it enhancement mode. So once you have your answer, post it in comment section. And now we will talk about symbol of depletion type MOSFET. If you remember the symbol of enhancement type MOSFET, you can easily relate how we are making the symbol of depletion type MOSFET. In case of enhancement type MOSFET, this was the gate and we made the gate terminal like this L shaped gate terminal. This was the drain and this is the drain terminal. This is the channel supported by the substrate. This is the source and this one is the source terminal. We enclose it inside a circle. This is the symbol of enhancement type MOSFET and to represent N channel enhancement type MOSFET we make arrow like this and to represent P channel enhancement type MOSFET we make arrow like this. The vertical line was broken because initially the channel was not there so drain and source are not connected to the channel. To represent this the line is broken but in case of depletion type MOSFET the channel is there from the beginning so we will complete the vertical line like this and this is the symbol for the depletion type MOSFET. This arrow is for N channel depletion type MOSFET and this arrow here is for P channel depletion type MOSFET. This is the substrate terminal. In many cases we have three terminal MOSFET. So we will remove the substrate terminal and we will connect it internally to the source terminal. So this is the final symbol of depletion type MOSFET. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.